Hello there. It's the Zen Witch. I am here with an unboxing the Tarot video because guess what? It's Monday. And today we're looking at the Cat's Eye Tarot. U.S. Game Systems. It's by Deborah M. Given. DVM. What's who's DVM? Dr. Veterinary Medicine. Oh my God, she's a vet. I didn't even know that. Cat's Eye Tarot. There's the world on the back. It says include 78 cards and instruction booklet. Here, every card in Cat's Eye Tarot tells a story, illustrated from a feline point of view. The card meanings follow writer weight interpretations, yet even the newcomer to Tarot will be able to relate to these delightful images of cats and learn valuable lessons from them. So, come out, come out, come out. All right. There's the book. There's the backs. Look. Oh, isn't he beautiful? That's one of those gorgeous lion face cats. So you can definitely tell if these cards are reversed. And I do have the deck blocked. There's their blocking card. Published by U.S. Game Systems. Oh, we have two. So we have the title card and then we have a, a second card for blocking, which I love it when they acknowledge what people do with cards and provide it for you. So this gives a spread on it. Nine lives spread. A cat has nine lives. Three he plays, three he strays, and three he stays. Shuffle the deck and then lay out nine cards face down as shown below. The first column is youth, the second column is middle age, the third column is maturity. Start by turning over the card that best corresponds to your current life stage. In each life stage we play with new skills and form a vision of where we want to go. With the next step we stray from the safety of the familiar on our way to a new destination slash goal. With the final step we stay, at least for a while. Having reached a goal or a milestone, study this card and then work your way backwards and forwards until you have revealed all of the cards. Look at each of them and notice how they relate to each other and to your life experience. What story do they tell? Read the card meanings given in the booklet for additional insights. Pretty cool. All right, let's look at the artwork. And before we do that, let's see who did the artwork. <clears throat> All right. This is 2011 U.S. Games. All uh, rights reserved. Cat's eye. I don't see um, anyone else mentioned, so I am assuming that she has done the artwork as well. Okay. Yeah things. All right. The Fool. Look at this kitty. Oh my god. He's chasing a butterfly and he's gonna jump off the fence. That's not good. All right. You're gonna see me get all squishy because I love cats and I love my kitties. And then the Magician. We have a spooky boy there. Look how sweet. Oh my god. The High Priestess. Oh look at these two next to each other. The Magician and the High Priestess. How delightful is that? All right, my witchy folks that are watching this, are you gushing like me right now? Look at her. Oh, my God. The Empress with her kittens. The Emperor. He's kind of... <laughs> The kitten is like, Scar, brother, and the emperor is just like, what the hell, cat? The hierophant. The cat with keys. So we're not looking at images that are exactly relatable to the standard writer way, but they sure are cute. Curious as to whether... Um, the parts of the images are mentioned, like the keys. Let's take a peek here. Hierophant. It says keywords, education, belief systems, conformity, group identification. When this cat wishes to be heard, he steps up and speaks. 
It looks like Monkey. We used to have a cat named Monkey that we rescued. His status is respected by everyone in the household, cat and man alike. Cats do not form rigid social orders, but they do have complex social relationships with codes of acceptable behavior. Feline etiquette must be learned. Kittens raised alone do not receive a proper education from other cats and are often inept at forming social relationships later in life. In a reading, when this card appears, some aspect of group identification or your role within the community needs to be considered. The Hierophant can represent the body of information that guides appropriate behavior within society. Very well done. And there are no reverse meanings. So the fact that this is a directional image on the back says that it's there so that you know that your cards are all facing the right way because there are no reverse meanings. Now, what do you do when a deck doesn't have reverse meanings and you want to read reverses? You just really learn the hell out of the upright meanings. And then you either flip it around. Sometimes um, if a card wants to be turned upside down in my uh, Hans and Roberts, it will. And if it comes out upside down, it says to me that either the energy of the card is stalled, stuck, held back, or turned on its head, depending on the upright meaning. So I will always start and say, the upright meaning of this card is this, and it's showing up on its head, which says. And then I will give a reversed interpretation. The lovers. Oh. The chariot. Did him have a burb? I think him have a burb. Or him has feathers. Let's see. Let's see. The chariot. It is dusk and a young silver tabby is returning home with his victory prize. Hunting prowess provides the means to his independence. Skill, coordination, and cunning combine to make him the master of his own fate. This card represents success and conquest. Victory, will, self-assertion, hard control. So, him have a burb. They, they, she was kind enough not to make it uh, too graphic. <laughs> strength oh look it's a dog that's pretty cool the hermit oh he's got a interesting that he's got a collar on i would think a hermit would be like a stray but no cool and the light in the back the wheel of fortune justice The hanged kitty. Oh, my. Oh, see, this reminds me of Mitchell. Mitchell, we have a little Manx, little gray Manx, and his name is Griffin Merlin Mitchell, the nug jitterbug, but we call him Mitch most of the time, or Mitchell. And he loves to lie on his back like this. He will just lie on his back, and he looks so silly and goofy, and he looks like a little vampire kitty. So now I will think of the hanged kitty every time he does that. Death. Looking outside at the cold, cold winter. Temperance. Ooh, look at that yin-yang. That's really, really a beautiful image. I love the, the softness of the artwork and kind of the, the purple haze. They're not harsh. They're very soft and comfortable cards. The devil. Nang. The tower. And you can tell that they were done by someone who is intimately familiar with how cats work and how they look and how they move. This is a cat that is in the process of flipping itself over onto its feet, falling from a height. The star. You know, with that bright blue you're seeing is my camera reflecting in, but look at, look how lovely. Look at the beautiful images. It's really a nice deck to look at. The moon. Ooh, who's that in the, who's in the hole? Well, like a bat or something coming out of the hole, and the cat's like, rah. The sun. Come on. Here we go. Judgment. And the statue. <clears throat> the world. So this kitty has everything. Look, there's fish. There's an apple to play with. There's a snake. There's a bird. There's the spinning abyss in front of her and the 
moon and mice and all kinds of everything a kitty could want. So now we have the Ace of Wands. Oh, look at that. Look at the paw coming out to swipe at a snake. There we go. Wow. All right. I'm looking that one up. Ace of Wands is creative force, enthusiasm, confidence, courage. The paw of a red tabby is poised to initiate a test of skill and nerve. The snake is equally confident and ready for a challenge. The sky is orange with heat and energy, setting the tone for the fiery wands suit. In a reading, it means action, excitement, creativity, and adventure come to mind with the Ace of Wands. Are you up for the challenge? Have you considered the consequences? Enthusiasm can be a good thing, but take care that you do not bite off more than you can chew. It would be very easy to memorize this deck based on that. You know, you, the, the description of the meaning fits very, very well with the image and would be easy to connect and maintain that image and those meanings. Two of Wands, snatching up a lizard. Three of Wands. <laughs> Four, five, it's a bit of a tangle about to happen. Six is the victory card. <laughs> Seven. All right, I want to look at that. That looks like there might be a dog. Okay, seven, aggression, defiance, conviction. A defiant red tabby faces his pursuer and defends his position with determination. Though the dog is much larger and stronger, that cat has the powerful energy of his convictions. In a reading, there are times when you must stand up for what you believe in. However, if you always find yourself standing alone against the world, it might be time to take a good hard look at what you really believe in. These are excellent meanings. The Eight of Wands. Saving a kitty from a fire. Nine. Ten. Ooh, got that snake. The page. Let's look at how the court cards shake out in this. Page, be creative, be enthusiastic, be confident, be courageous. With a bold social temperament, this red tabby kitten is ready for adventure. He wants things his own way, and with the outdoors beckoning, he's not likely to become a lap cat. When the Page of Wands appears in a reading, be prepared for excitement and a new challenge. Creativity, enthusiasm, confidence, and courage are within your grasp. Reach out and grab the glory. Knight of Wands, it says charming, superficial, self-confident, cocky. So now we've got more character traits. Queen of wands attractive wholehearted energetic cheerful self-assured and the king creative inspiring forceful charismatic bold so all of those red tabbies in that fiery energy of the suit of wands ace of swords so look at each of the aces just has a paw coming out so far um <clears throat> and actually, they have the suit of cups next. So let's jump and go to the suit of cups. All right. Mm -mm -mm. So the ace of cups, we have a paw and a betta in a bowl. And let me take a moment to uh, talk about one of my completely unrelated peeves, and that is these kind of fish, uh, Siamese fighting fish, B-E-T-T-A, it's a betta, not beta. There was a restaurant in town once that was called the Dancing uh, Betta, and everybody called it Dancing Beta, so I used to call it the Dancing Greek Letter. Anyway, it's betta, not beta. Beta is a Greek letter. Okay, Ace of Cups. When a friendly paw gently touches the surface of his bowl, the brightly colored fish is attracted by this interesting development. This cat sees the fish not as prey, but rather as another living being and an object of curiosity. 
In a reading, emotional energies are important in your life right now with new love, greater intimacy, and strong intuition all possible. Pay particular attention to relationships. Emotions are fleeting, but they are the stuff of life. Do not miss an opportunity to truly feel alive. These are really wonderful meanings here. And the two of cups. We've got little black and whites, tuxedos. The three, look, we got a person. Oh, a person who the kitties obviously love a lot. Four of Cups. The five, so we've got all black and whiteies here. Tuxedos, our other kitty is a tuxedo. Six. Remembrances, seven. Oh, possibilities. Think of the possibilities, all them fish in there. <laughs> Eight of Cups, walking away. Oh, he's got a puppy. Oh, oh, he got a puppy and a mm. nine of cups. Okay. The 10. Yes, yes. Oh, God, I got to show this to my husband. This is him and Gilbert every single night and day as well. If Cliff is on the couch, Gilbert is like that. Gilbert is our tuxedo that has a Mickey Mouse on his nose. He's got three dots. It looks like Mickey Mouse. Okay, setting that aside to show my husband. There's the Page of Cups, the Knight, the Queen, and the King. And again, such sweet images. Now we've got the Swords. And we'll look at that. Since I'm looking at all the Aces, why not? <clears throat> Ace of Swords, mental force, truth, justice, fortitude. A drifting feather is cupped in the paw of a curious cat. This cat uses his amazing intellect to understand and enjoy his world rather than to pursue a meal. Instinct and intuition serve him well, but the ability to observe, think, and plan provides adaptability and success with new situations. In a reading when the Ace of Swords shows up, it's a sign that mental clarity is important. Use your head. Do not just react. Think it through. You can find the truth and it will serve you well if your mind is clear and you know that you are just stand firm. Very nice. Two of Swords. We've got Siamesies. Squeezy Siamesies. Three of Swords. All right, I'm going to look this up because I can't tell what I'm looking at here. Okay. Three of Swords says, Heartbreak, loneliness, betrayal. Paw prints in the snow reveal that the cat has come looking for food, but the cottage is boarded up and the family is gone. She's still young and inexperienced at hunting for her own food. She will not be so trusting of people in the future. She will come for the food, but hold her heart in reserve. In a reading, the Three of Swords serves as a reminder that feelings get hurt, trust is betrayed, and life can feel terribly lonely at times. It is a warning. Do not allow yourself to become too dependent on others. Also take care that you do not disappoint those who depend on you. Really good meanings there. And so sad. We've rescued so many cats. <laughs> I've rescued so many cats. Four of swords. Five. Wow. I'm not happy. Six. Uh-oh, somebody going to the vet. Okay. Okay. I'm going to look that one up, too. A lovely Himalayan lies quietly in her carrier. Though the gate is open, she makes no effort to escape. A cat in a carrier is no longer piloting her own course. Cats are not inclined to seek help when they do not feel well. They withdraw rather than complain. Your thoughts and actions affect the way you feel. It's time to take the first step in a new direction. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. You just have to find a way to get to it. View life from a fresh perspective. Accept help when it is offered. So, so good. Seven of Swords. Eight. Nine. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm ten. And this just looks like a disaster area here. All kinds of cats. And all kinds of mess. There's the page. The knight. The queen, oh, indeed she is, and the king. And then our last suit of pentacles, we've got a mouse. 
All right, let's read that one. Material force, prosperity, practicality, trust. An experienced cat has waited patiently in the tall grass along a known mouse route. Patience and practicality have been rewarded. Prosperity follows when one sticks to conventional practices and methods known to have worked in the past. There are possibilities for a financial or other material progress. The Ace of Pentacles lets you know that your efforts will be rewarded. Now is not the time for foolish ventures. Stick with the tried and true. Stay grounded and trust what you know. Wee. That's a cat having fun with a mousy. Love to eat them mousies. Mousies what I love to eat. Bite their little heads off. Nibble on their tiny feet. B. Clyburn. Look him up. Three of Pentacles. The four. And we've got tabbies here. We've got seriously hunting tabbies. Five. Head ends. What is that red? Oh, is it like a shoelace or something? I don't really know. Hmm. Six. Seven. Wait, what is the six? Treats. <coughs> Eight. Kittens learning how to do stuff. Looks like the parents have caught the mouse and letting the kittens play and learn. Nine. Ah, uh, alone in abundance. And ten. The happy family, or the stable family card. Page. The knight. The queen. And the king. I want to look up um, the page of pentacles there. Because the mice are, like, coming at them. Have an effect. Be practical. Be prosperous. Be trusting. Be trustworthy. An earnest brown tabby barn kitten tentatively approaches a mouse peeking over the edge of a hay bale. Hunting mice is part of learning how to make his way in the world. At this moment, he is only a potential predator learning to practice lessons of life as a barn cat. Learning the practical lessons of life as a barn cat. You will have many opportunities for wealth, accomplishment, and security. Keep in mind the keywords for this page. Practicality, hard work, and trust will allow you to reach your goals. So, yeah, what a fantastic deck. I've said it before. I, I love being reintroduced to these because I get them, I play with them for a while, and then they go into the collection, and it's like, ah, which one's next? So, you know, getting so acquisitive for a collection can be detrimental because then I don't really... Uh, get to know the decks, but I'm getting to know them again by showing them to you and how happy I am that I can do that. Um, let's look up that Ten of Cups as well. Joy, peace, family. It is a simple scene, peaceful and quiet, but for the sound of a contented purr. A young kitty and his man are pleased to be sharing this time together. The association of cats and people provides tremendous emotional satisfaction. Cats make us feel special when they offer their trust and affection. These feelings multiply when we offer the same in return. The Ten of Cups is a reminder that moments of pure joy are possible. This pleasant emotion is most often found within the bosom of our family. Without the need for words, these shared feelings mean for the moment all is right with the world. So again, if you start using this deck and just doing readings and looking the cards up, those meanings are going to stick pretty easily. Absolutely. So an easy deck to learn, a beautiful deck to look at, and especially if you love kitties, if you have kitties, and you like kitties, you're going to like this deck. So highly recommend. Indeed I do. Whoop, I'll have to block it again. Anyhow, thanks for being with me. Um, oh, pfft, wrong. <laughs> See what I go through? Did it. I need a producer so bad. Thanks for being with me. 
we will see you on Friday for another unboxing of an Oracle deck. And I'm glad you come to hang out with me in these trying times we're living through. I hope I can bring a little bright spot to your day. Please like and subscribe and share and all that. And um, talk to me below. I will answer you. Good to see you. I'll see you next time. This is the Zen Witch. Blessed be.